Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is the Lady Designer, and we're here with more news of Planet Zoo. Update 1.8 is coming to Planet Zoo on the 14th of December. Before we jump into that, that does mean that we're going to see another DLC dropping as well next to this free update on the 14th of December. So that is next week on Tuesday. So I am just super excited to hear more what we're going to get for new DLC. I think that's probably going to drop like tomorrow, maybe on, on Thursday. We have to wait and see. But now let's go and jump into more information about update 1.8 restaurants. Restaurants are making their way to Planet Zoo. From the fine dining to fast food, serve your guests a unique culinary experience with this new feature. With up to 20 tables able to connect per restaurant, flexi color table options and table placement even being available in safe habitats, you've got the freedom to let your creativity run wild. For a full rundown of what you can expect, take a look at this form post. This is what we spoke about the last time in the last video. I will link that one in the description down below. Shop counters. Okay, that was the word that I was looking for in the previous episode. Like, if they have, like, separate counters. <laughs> I just couldn't figure out the word. Shop counters. Restaurants aren't the only new way your guests will be able to enjoy their time at your zoo. Introducing Shop Counters, this alternate option of creating stores will provide you with a counter-only version of an assortment of shops. Oh my god, that's just so good. Allowing you to create your own custom shop design. Check out this list of what shop counters will be available. Bernie's Bakes, Chief Beef, Cosmic Cow Milkshakes, Gopi Energy, Gopi Slush, Hot Dog Squad, Pip Shop Smoothies, and Street Fox Coffee. Uh, on top of this, there will be new small signs of the shop logos for you to place on your builds. What theme are you going to do for this first custom shop? Gosh, this is so cool. This is something we always already wanted in Planet, in planet Coaster, actually, and we never got it. But finally, finally, we are getting shop counters. This is just super amazing, honestly. I love how this is looking. This is gonna be so awesome. Okay, let's continue. Burrows dig down deep with their new animal burrowing behavior just in time for winter. This will allow certain animals to explore burrows that can be freely placed in your zoos, giving them a place to seek shelter, sleep, adjust to the correct temperature, or even give birth. The entrance to the burrow will always align with the terrain, which leads to an underground chamber that will position itself below the entrance. That is so neat! Uh, but that's not all. The burrows will come with internal habitat cameras that you can access through the burrow info panels. So you can see exactly what's happening underground, plus with the ability to link them to billboard screens, this means your guests won't miss out either. Oh my god, seriously, I know when we got the billboards and I was making a few habitats like for the penguins and the polar bears with like webcam footage, so many people were like, oh, I wish I could just link them, like, are you able to link them? But it was all just a video recording. But this is game changing because right now you can start to link them with the billboard screens. I actually love that. I hope that they will also change the webcams to that. Like this doesn't say that it also will work for the webcams, only for the burrows. But I mean, if they can link this to a billboard screen, why would you not be able to link the webcams to billboard screen. I will be very surprised, maybe a little bit disappointed if that would not be the case. So I'm, I'm having my hopes that that will also be the case for linking the billboards with the webcams. But this is really, really cool. I'm really excited to see how this burrowing behavior and how this whole underground chamber and stuff will look. I love that they're going to add this. That is just super cool. And then animal memorials. Lastly, we know losing your animals is never easy. And that's why we're adding animal memorials into the game. Give your beloved inhabitants a proper dedication to ensure that while they may be gone, they are never forgotten. 
and will always be part of your zoo. This will be split into two parts, a new UI section to keep track of the animals that have passed away in your zoo and physical memorials that you can place as a tribute to specific animals. That is really neat. I know that a lot of people ask for this ever since the beginning of the game. I have seen this put on the forums pretty often, so it's really neat that they also, again, listen to what the community really would love to see in the game. I absolutely love this. The Memorials UI will be added as a new screen to the Zoo Overview UI and will contain two lists, one to track habitat animal death and one to exhibit animals. Here you will find info on each animal that has passed, including their name, age, date of death and cause of death. This will have a max entry level of 200. So if you have a particular busy zoo with several generations of animals, your oldest animals may end up overwritten. Don't worry though, if you have animals you want to ensure stay on the list, we've added the ability to mark entries as favorite, which protects them from being deleted. Please note this UI will be backdated to include existing animal data, but cause of death was not previously stored, so this field may be empty for death prior to the 1.8 update. From this menu, you can select an animal and then choose a memorial asset to place into the world. When creating a memorial, you will be given two tabs of options. The first overview will show you a summary of all content on the memorial and will let you adjust the custom image or font color, depends on the asset. The second tab, Animal Information, will let you adjust animal-specific information, such as what information is shown or adding a dedicated line. Oh, that is really neat that you also have that option. When choosing what dedication to make, you'll be able to choose from three memorial assets. Memorial Plague Screen, a screen asset with custom image functionality, similar to the billboards already in the game, Memorial Plague edible, edible Sign Browse, a dedicated plague featuring the animal's name and other information, and Memorial Plague Editable Sign Limestone, a dedicated plague featuring the animal's name and other information in limestone. Oh, just look at this one, that is really, really cool. On top of this, should you wish to create an animal memorial for an animal outside of your zoo, such as a real world pad, you can do this too. Simply place a blank memorial and edit it manually to include the right information. Guests in your zoos will interact with your memorials by viewing them if they are close by, stopping to read the dedication and then receiving a small mood boost due to appreciation of font memories with the animal. We hope these various memorial features allow you to create meaningful dedications to your beloved animals both within and outside of Planet Zoo. I think that's a really neat feature. I'm not really sure if I will use it often myself, but it's definitely a really cool addition. And of course, as always, these features come alongside very Various tweaks and fixes that will be included in the patch notes upon release. We hope you're excited for this new content as we're certainly excited to bring it to you and see what the new dimensions is, are going to bring your zoo builds. We'll have more news for you soon so keep an eye on their socials and here on the forums. So yeah this is definitely a really really surprising update 1.8. I love it that we're going to get these uh, these shop counters. Absolutely amazing. I'm trying to think if there is anything new here about the new DLC that we're getting. Any new hint maybe but I'm not really sure. I see a lot of African stuff. So mm, that's not really telling me that much, is it? No, I really cannot tell you, but I'm really excited about this free update. Obviously, if I hear more about any, uh, about the new DLC uh, that is uh, coming next to this update, like we know by now that a free update always comes along with the new DLC. So yeah, as soon as I hear anything, I will keep you guys updated, of course. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of update 1.8, the free update coming to you on the 14th of December. And let me know what you guys hope to see for the new DLC. I am very excited to hear more about it. Please leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe of course if you haven't already and if you want to see more Planet Zoo content on the channel, I definitely have you covered. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys!